Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 in which I'm your host, Mr. Henry Ford Lover, but right now we are of course using the mod and Cap America, but we're doing business, business in the Americas, with which has no description, but hey, whatever. I just like stabilizing Mexico. Wow, 70 day focus? Holy crap, that's a long time. Oh, hello. Lot oh, oh, okay, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks, Senators. Uh, we'll give them a week. By December, okay, they're, they're good now, they're good now. Force Brothers, well, it is 1940. We're building a lot of stuff up here, which is pretty darn nice. But honestly, my main goal is to, like, take out Mexico, probably. I mean, if we do have to take out the Fourth International. Ah, so be it, why not? Might be a little hard to get over there. Germany's doing really well, though. Um, the Dutch did join the Fourth International. The Czechs are still holding out. Uh, Raz Mutapa. And then the Fourth International is dying over there, too. So. Maybe we won't take out Germany, we'll see. It's like, uh, that's not bad. Perch the Mercenary Legion. Oh yeah, we have like no manpower now. Oh, there goes the Dutch folks. Whatever, whatever. Uh, refuge of those guys, follow Sevastopol. It is what it is. There's prospect for resources, we could. Mercenaries, I mean, I would like that. A few mercenaries, 2,000 for 5,000 manpower, or a little bit less for 10,000. Indonesian order, Mercenary Legion. Uh, massive infrastructure projects. Purchase the Mercenary Legion 20, I don't know. 25 for 5,000, multiply by 4. Purchase the Mercenary Legion is probably the best one to do, honestly. Other than that, uh, let's see, what else? Commando. Special Forces, Carriers. Sword efficiency would be pretty, honestly, pretty pretty, pretty darn good for us. More daily army XP. Though. Where are we for our land auction? We're honestly not very far at all. So we still gotta go that way then. I love trying to destabilize Mexico. We can either incorporate Mexico, Golden Circle Inc., or we can bypass Mexico. But Mexico has to exist. A Central American technocracy has to exist. Or we just destabilize Canada. Actually, this has no unique description, but destabilize Canada. Oh, Canada, I'm growing to fear the people there. Fear their king more than their corporate overlords. It's time to fix that. Oh, look, we're out of manpower again. Who could have seen that one coming? I did. And you probably did too. But let's go through some comments such as Mother Anarchy loves her sons. Expect those capitalists. Or accept those. Or expect those. Someone also says. <clears throat> After TNO, it feels odd to have folks that take more than 7 to 14 days. You And someone else says, USA become Mr. Krabs. Detroit became human for reference. Someone says, do something crazy like Elon Musk and make tank divisions out of rocket engines and flamethrowers, which you have to research rockets for rocket engines and tanks. Someone says, are you going to do the NPA path in TNO or Kaganovich's TMM? I definitely have to do the TN TPA or N NPA, National Protection Army TNO with long units stuff like that. Recreational nukes would be very nice. We are also known as the United Bank of Monies. And Capstan would be nice. Someone says, a couple people ask, like, what's wrong with the uh, audio? I'm not really sure. Um, I did try to fix it between this episode and the last. Hopefully it's a lot better. I apologize if it's not very real good. So, it should be fixed by now, but there are, of course, no guarantees. But it should be fixed by now. I hope it is. Because if it's not, I'm going to be really disappointed in myself. So. And I don't like that. I don't like being disappointed in myself. Mm. Do we not have... Naval bomber tiers? Interwar bombers? No, I guess not. Carrier naval bombers is not bad. Massive infrastructure project. And oh, we don't have to do that. We're pretty good. The Mexican City Crest is coming soon. Yeah, for the. Oh! Okay. For the ANCAPs. Whoa! Destabilized Canada. Very nice. So here's Mexico. No unique focus. We free Mexico, led by James James Allred. Isn't that the governor of Texas? And Central American technocracy. And caps rising, huh? Bunch of fascist moose, huh? Mexican Soviet Republic. Okay, so Mexico's been kicked out of Mexico. Good to know. Uh, represent. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, they joined the Axis. Well, that's not good. Well, we'll see what happens. Mercenary Legion will be good to get. We just need more political power from here on out. Mexico joined the Balkan Confederacy. What the garbage? Uh. Incorporate Mexico. They'd be at peace. Bypass Mexico. Or we'll just kill Mexico. <clears throat> and we'll just go to war with these guys as well. Which is also very true. We could do that as well. Philippines. I do want some more manpower, but we're at 0%. Private armies kind of hurt us just a wee bit. Um.
Cancel a lot of the divisions. Recuperate some of that manpower we had earlier, so. There we go. It's looking a little better. But it could still be a spot better. The PTT pushes south to take advantage of the Mexican Civil War and use the justification to take control of Baja California. Well, welcome aboard, guys. J. Paul Getty. PTT, anarcho capitalists. Very cool. I love it. We can just take other people's stuff. Repair this Suez Canal. What kind of good for now? Um. There's no manpower or anything like that, but I guess we'll wait and see. Oh, and the state. Yeah, we're going to save that for last. We're probably going to war with everyone else first, honestly. Ottawa Revolution. Prepare for conflict. Free the Empire. Greece is gone. Comp. Golden Circle expands. Uh, Golden Circle has used the Mexican Civil War as justification to control the Yucatan Peninsula. Okay, then. Well, yeah, he's... Okay. Very odd, but okay. End of Chinese Empire. China was puppeted. Union Soviet Republic is still struggling, but they're not doing too... Oh, not too bad, yeah. Pretty normal. Romania's pushing in here, too, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Great Britain's done really well in Africa. Um. All right. Destabilize and hurt them as best you possibly can. Competing machine. I eh, get some of that too, because he can. Well, do we get anyone else here too? That'd be kind of nice. We got a lot of divisions though. Nice. Quite a few divisions. Doesn't mean they're any good though. Hmm. You guys are 25 combat width, which is. It's alright. It's not great. We're going to need a lot more artillery. That can save on map too, so. Make sure we make enough of that, make enough of that. We're building some of this too. Very good. Get some rubber as well. We bought a lot of the Midwest. Nice. Oh, and and just Wyoming for some reason. Okay. Alright, let's see what this one's about. Because I would like to prepare for conflicts. Caribbean Anarchy would be very nice, though. Free Mexico's got to hurry up and win. Oh, Canada. Coming soon. Why is this all coming soon? What do you mean? Do we get anything else here? No? Darn it. I do that one too, because he can. Interwar bombers, please. Thank you. If the, we're going to be like that here. Let me just go up here. It's fine. It's fine for now. Um, Anything else here? No, we can use more war support, in all honesty. 1%, 90 days. Go for the cheaper one, you might as well. And cap name only. We've dealt with the narcos capitalist ideology, but really we've moved to embrace the system. Oh, we just call ourselves anarchists and the trade seems to be over. What? Uh, content local businesses. Or content. Con constant? Content? Alright, well, daily change is nothing. Kinda sucks. Very odd, but okay. I guess this mod's not really done yet, huh? Well, stop criticizing us. Oh. Okay, then. Well, free the Empire. And the state. We'll do that one a little bit. Well, I did say we'd do this one, too, so I guess we'll go with this one next. Um, Central American technocracy is doing quite well. We need to fight the Axis, though. I mean, that's fine. We could probably beat the Axis a little bit. European Alliance. How? How? Okay, they repair the Suez Canal. They're doing quite well against here, but they can't win against these guys. What is going on? Wow, this looks like a very difficult world to be a part of now. Spanish Empire looks pretty good, but that means we need to kill them too. Uh, I'm not sure how much I actually want to invade them now. Commonwealth of Nations would be not too difficult to take out. Is Australia also in the... Oh god, yes they are. Oh man. Costa Rica's gone. Well, okay then. Um, still will. I want more army XP. <sighs> Bypass Mexico. Just gonna wait for them to all finish off their wars here. Free Mexico might die. I don't know if I really want to bypass them. I kind of do this one though. Free Mexico needs to exist, but be at peace. I'll just go straight to war with them. Hmm. 
Disperse industry. Get some rubber. Actually, we're very close. Quite close to doing this construction. Get some assembly line production. More cap. Thank you. I just want to do these guys. These guys look like fun. Senator retired, so that sucks. Uh, War plan lavender. War sport plus. Oh, and more attack. Wow, we're going to war with a lot of people. Versus avoid South America and the real initiative. We just get a core and real. What? We just get free cores on them? Reactors? Ah, screw it, do it anyways. Okay. The fall of Leningrad. Alright then. Well. Intervention in Europe and the Americas. Well, I guess we could do this as well. We're playing Crimson. Green. But these are so long focuses. We're playing red. Why are they so long? Oh, hello. Mexican Soviet. Oh, all right. We can try it. Uh, Army of the United States. More population would be n Actually, that'd be nice. We can't really get any of that. Army of the United States. For the fights that are to come, the army is too small. We we'll oversee a dramatic increase in size. We'll have to accomplish. We'll need to create a new organization. Integrate support. Regiment of combat teams. Thank you, sir. Well, I mean, they want to go to war with us. Go to war with the Fourth International. That would be the worst thing we could do. Just go ahead and repair. Don't worry about doing that anymore. You already have. We already have so much naval XP. War propaganda would be nice. Yeah. Army of the U.S. I just kind of want to go to war with myself. Taking out South America would be very nice too. Commonwealth of Nations down there. Actually, what's up? Actually, it doesn't even matter. Standards don't even matter now. Hmm. Oh, Volgo Grid has a cap. Volgo Grid. Not Vladivostok? I guess not yet. Not yet. They're getting there. Um. It's a very weird world. As you can probably tell. More infrastructure. Make more millies and civvies. It's not bad. Very useful. Boats of New Mexico, just in case. Chief of the Air Force, Special Operations. Penalties, Charles Lindbergh. Fall of Volgograd. Naval Reformer. From Carriers. Uh, why not? We'll do that one. Even though I don't really need it, but whatever. We'll do it anyways. Here, do that too. We're fighting the Axis. I mean, I, if we're going to fight anybody, I just only want to fight one at a time, in all honesty. I don't want to fight two at a time. That was not a lot of fun. You know. You probably know. Artillery-wise, 2200 pieces is not enough. Wait, what? Well. Okay. Wow, this is a giant mess. Mitchells. Um, we got all that stuff. Get this one, too. Crew, join them. And the state. Centers retire. Um. Power of the Federations. Eh, avoid all restrictions in the state. Well, we'll see. Remove ANCAP drift. Create our own faction. I don't know, man. Maritime commissions. Attack bombies. Intervention in Europe, I guess. Less than two decades after the end of the Great War, the nations of Europe are once again poised for war. We must be prepared in case the situation requires swift intervention. Okay. We're actually good on rubber now, too. Hmm. Need more millies, though. Mexico is taking forever to kill itself off. How fast can we justify on these guys? Actually, we can create their own faction, but then we'd be at war with the Axis. And that would take forever to do. Actually, do we have to be at peace for this one? No, we don't. Um, Bypass Mexico. At peace. 
Or just say, screw and go to war now. Get some sort of action going. Might as well. Yeah, give us some time to repair, because we have only 16, 26, not bad. This is going to repair pretty darn quickly, so that'll be nice. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Repair, 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 repair. A couple more days left. Alright. Mercenary Legion. Not really worth it. Hmm. Understood vacillation. Oh! We can just move out of this already. Partial mobilization. War economy would probably be best. We can create a faction and then leave a faction. And cap daddies. Dawn of the and cap daddies. Well, time to get involved. It's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't really care. Um. Sure, guys. Sure, we'll do that. So we got a lot of Europeans to kill now. That's nice, speaker. And y'all are going to be raiding like crazy, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Just in case, we got uh, only 100. No, it sucks. We need way more manpower than this. What's the follow this campaign goes? I think it'll be at least one more episode after this. I'm going to take out these guys. See what you can do down here. Um, looking very nice. Blow the Panama Canal. We're going to blow something here. Then we go to War Economy. Very, very good. Inter Intervention in Europe is okay. 81% is still going up, maybe? Nice. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. Simple line production is very good, too. More fuel. Honestly, probably don't need that, but whatever. Keep raiding. Keep raiding the booties. I hope he's learning a lot. Skill 4 already is just awesome. And you guys are over here. Hopefully doing alright as well. What do you mean presidential misconduct? Oh, did we lose Panama Canal? No, we did not lose Panama Canal. Oh, we're fighting the Panama Indians. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. Keep seeing the convoys intervention in Europe. Which we'll do with some of this other stuff later on. Women's Armed Service Integration Act. We cannot afford to turn away anyone who wishes to serve. Every woman in uniform frees up a man to fight at the front. Which means nothing to us because we'll get minus 100% anyways. Panamanian sabotage, sabotage Panama. Military intelligence indicates that Panamanian intend to use large-scale demolitions of blockade ships to reduce or sabotage Panama Canal. If we wish to stop them, we do not have much time. Oh, crap. That's not good. Well, whatever. We'll get down there. Nice. Way, 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 way more stuff down here now. Nice. Free Mexico is looking pretty good. Sure, guys. Sure. Come on through. No issues whatsoever, right? No issues. You guys have done a great job so far. Central American technocracy is gone. Oh, yeah. Sinking a lot of convoys. Look, look at this. Finding some of that good old British Navy. We lost a couple planes, but that's a okay with us. Holy crap, look at all those convoys sunk. Nice. Nice. It's gotta be some pretty massive casualties for sinking all them cows. Oh, shnikes. Sink, 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 big boys. Very good. Very awesome. Learn that, Ernest King. He's level five already. Great. How do you all? Not much. Panama come out blown. Calamity. Pacific and Atlantic are divided once again. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Okay, so you guys are doing okay up ish up there. Oh, oh crap. Okay, so we lost a destroyer. Uh, six destroyers. Not bad. 
We'll have some early stores as well, but whatever. Early stores are expendable. God dang piece of garbage. Stop speaking out against the government. Nice. And for that one, we'll probably do. We're playing silver. Italy, gold, white, plan red. Uh, intervention in the Americas. Our first order of business must be ensure we're prepared for any eventuality in our own hemisphere. Well, I guess we have to. Or just go to war with both groups. Oh my goodness, that takes so long to do. Holy cruddy fathers. Take both groups out, that'd be great. Go do that. You guys doing okay. Lucian Trust got. Yeah, I can do that too. Why not? Nice. Nice. Flank is capitulated. Nice. Lost quite a few ships as well. Ooh, actually lost some planes. It's fine. Convoys, 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 convoys. Convoys, not bad. 1.39 million. We've got rid of 200,000 almost. Uh, not that many of these guys. Rebel in France. 20,000, not bad. Yeah, why is there so much? It takes so long. British Malay is gone now, too, which is pretty good. Alright, not bad. And they're going to be over there, too. Any more war goals? Maybe a little more quickly? Taking this long is kind of not great for us. Good job, Free Mexico, though. Good job. Sort of a pat on the back. Kick from faction. Dismantle factions. That's what we do next. 42. Grab some carbines, carbines. Well, lost destroyer for all that stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all. I guess we could have enabled Vader through here too. So invade from Florida down to right there. And right there. Back down to Puerto Rico. Oh wow. Keep seeing them destroyers. Any ships that the enemies do have need to be eliminated. Oh crap. Oh, we actually lost the destroyer. A couple of destroyers first. Oh, I actually lost the destroyers. I'll look at that. Our ships doing nothing right? I guess not. Sink em, sink em, sink em. Nice. Also, some here. Good agency. If you can come up with a better name for us for an intelligence agency, please let me know in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Convoys go bye 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 bye. Anything else here? Oh, he's almost skill level 7, which is awesome. Czechoslovakia is dying still. You guys are still pushing in quite a bit, but it's definitely slowed down. Italy looks a bit Turkish, or Turkey looks a bit Italian now. And y'all doing okay. See what you can do with this. How many ships have we sunk? Only 900? Is that all? Hmm, not enough. Never enough. Okay, I guess doing well over here. Could probably use some more stability, really, but... Uh, mercenaries. Thank you. Good job, guys. Go when you can. Nice. I've got to assume that the British still got a big old navy. Million manpower, plenty of convoys, stuff like that. Ships. Actually, they don't have as big a navy as I thought they would have had. Right, we're playing Crimson Reef from the Monroe Doctrine. Dating back over 100 years, the Monroe Doctrine codified U.S. intervention in the case of European attempts to colonize America's but. <clears throat> Stay out of European affairs. Strengthen our role as peacekeepers on these continents will improve our influence in the region. Nice job, guys. 
Now walk all the way down here. Good stuff. Yeah, I'll keep trying to run out. Cool. Even less if you can't. Thank you very much. Please delete them from existence. Thank you. And... Yeah, after that, I do want to do War Plan Great. Oh, that'd be really good to do, actually. Atmosphere Defense. Plan Crimson. Well, Canada may be a friendly neighbor now. This may not be always be the case. Very true. Let's see if we can invade Panama next. I'm going to figure out how to invade uh, Europe. Well, Baku. That certainly ain't very good, now is it? No, sir. No, it ain't. Uh, Approved working conditions, more stability, be very nice. Yeah, I think the Germans are going to win there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Who's this? Oh. The last remnant of the Chinese holdout. From a department. Very nice. Three million losses. Never enough. Get off a lot of Spaniards. Huh. Actually, don't do that one. Ship stuff. It's fine. Got enough oil XP. Oil XP? <laughs> Not quite oil XP. Ship XP and such. Nice. Go ahead if you can. It'll be fine. Y'all will be fine. Sub hole, very good. Oh, Italy. Well then, <clears throat> these guys aren't quite dead yet, but that might throw a huge wrench into the Axis plans. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Now this isn't very good. All right, we still won. Oh, they actually have tanks here, huh? But we can pierce them, so it doesn't really matter too much. Take him back to the canal, you son of a rocker. Son of a rock sucker. Bogata would be nice to kill off, too. Truth be told, yes. You're from the Monroe Doctrine? We're playing Crimson? We're playing Grey. This has shown the nations of the Caribbean are quite unstable. We'll have to move quickly to protect American interests. And you should have them fall in this instability. Hmm, so why not? Duchy of Corsica is good. Costa Rica's gone, not like they're a big old enemy to press a fight. Where's the Navy? It's supposed to be trying to find enemies and kill them off. Fight or die. Win or die. Soon people's republics capitulated. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Well, Cairo. And then for y'all, one, two, three. Come from here. Kingston be nice. Best thing to do then. Well, that doesn't really matter, I guess. Prepare, oh my gosh, 400? That's kind of insane. Actually, that's not kind of. That is insane. Computer reveal chance to be very good, too. Oh, German subby boys. 
Two carbines, get some better ones. Oh, we're, we're done building? Holy crap. Better build the puppet because you can. Um, in the meantime, build up some more of these, maybe? Build up more refineries. Pick up a net exploder of oil, even though we already are, and not, what I really mean is rubber. Wow. Go ahead and do what you can, because we should be able to go to war pretty soon with these guys. Relatively soon, ish. Good, sink their stupid little subbies. So a victory, and we are almost there. Good. Find another one. Nice. Find another one. Awesome. Repair the qu Quez. Suez. Plant Great Hemisphere Defense. Regardless of any foreign entanglements, we must first and foremost look to our own neighbors. Uh, okay, well, there's that. Free the Empire. We're playing red and crimson, so. That is nothing. We're playing crimson, I guess. Might as well. Let's see what we can do about that. Keep taking their stuff. And we will come over to here. Get research speed. Mexican sovereignty. No one cares. Get some more soldiers if possible. Um, not bad, not bad. More battle cruisers and whatnot. Northern South America. More heavy ship hulls. Some dual secondary purpose gun renos. See what we can do about that here. We can invade from the south too. We're playing gray, huh? Demand liberation of American territories. Force Monroe Doctrine against Honduran Commonwealth. Oh. Well, let's go to war with these, the Mexicans first, and they'll do that too. Puppet war goal. Yeah, let's we'll see. Cool, Guatemala. I don't really want to fight these guys, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, I can see that now. They refused, they were warned. Top of government, yes, sir. Nice. Sure, guys, come on in. Lots of torpedoes, man. Lots and lots and lots of torpedoes. Actually, can we request manpower from these guys? Technically, yes, but they won't give it to us. Oh, hello. Nice. Now that's looking pretty good. Where are the Japanese over here? Well. Oh, do we not have enough supplies? Oh! Oh, crap. Well, I don't think we deserve any of this stuff. And obviously Germany deserves pretty much all of it. Romania is looking pretty thick. Germany, you can have a lot of that score, which I'll do. I'll scream. And the pizza's over, everybody. Germany's pretty large now. Whatever. And now we're freeing the empire. 
place. The whole only way to liberate the business of Canada is to liberate the business of the whole gosh darn British Empire. Pretty much. Um, we're playing gold, hemisphere defense, we're playing green, ace pilot promoted, intervention, we're playing silver. It is open to clear as ambition rule the Mediterranean, if their desires are an empire conflict with their interests, we must be, must be prepared. I hope we're thinking a lot. I hope we really are. Canada should be American. And by American, I mean ANCAP American. Because everything else in the world is a mistake. Nice. Keep moving on in, guys. Take Montreal. No. no there, do we need trucks? Do we need trucks here? Are we going to honk our way into there? We'll see what happens. We'll see. Hey, Montreal's ours. Nice. We haven't lost that much. We haven't lost too much either. Um, I'm not going to figure out how to invade Europe. That's going to be the most difficult thing. How do we get over there? We're probably hot. Actually, we do. Can we oh, actually, don't mark. Top of government. Go to there. Jump to there. Maybe invade northern the UK. That's a, certainly an idea. Alright, so you guys. Let's see. What can we do here? Heavy batteries. Not very good yet. Whatever. Fire control. Radar trace. Heavy engine threes. Get some dual secondary batteries. Now go for battleship armor. That'd be very good, too. And then. Heavy battery twos. Aircraft. Speed is actually still very good, not too concerned. Secondary batteries are extraordinarily good, so... Yeah, those are awesome. I love them. I love them to death. Actually, apparently I should have taken the thing with a uh, turkey so we get way more chromium, but whatever. It's fine. We'll import it from someplace. Okay, never mind, we won't. Hey, Cuba. Actually, Cuba's close enough that it doesn't matter. It's fine. Cool. We still only get 1.27 political power every day, which does kind of suck, but... It's all good. All good. Why, why is Winnipeg? That's really bad when Winnipeg is the capital, isn't it? Because then again, I do want a lot of naval XP. Like, this guy's level 7. It's awesome. Homing torpedoes make our guys even stronger. Yes, please. Better sub papas. Papa, yes. Nice. Yeah, actually, we're doing really well against them. It's really cool to see. So. And you guys got another division. Very good. Very, very, very good. I want you to come back. How much more do we need to take for Canada? They should be dead basically by now. Uh, they're getting close. Oh, the Commonwealth, yeah. 85% of the way there. Uh, oh, we still have Winnipeg. Oh, you guys, would you like Winnipeg? Ooh, nice. Dropping all? Oh, don't mind if we do. A little more soft tech. No, we're good. Sure, why not? As this too. Yay! Are we there yet? We're getting close. Basically, at this point, we got to spend all our political power on getting more mercenaries. It's very weird to do, but yeah, makes sense. Will that capitulate Canada? I kind of doubt it. Edmonton? Well, you're almost there. You might as well take it. Oh, now I get the improved heavy battery? Thanks a lot, game. Nice. No one cares about that stuff now. Oh! Well, we won! Um. Well, I apologize once again for don't have to do this, but... Looks like I'm going to do a lot of this off-screen, too. Well, everyone, here we're at. It's, we're doing some convoy tactics, of course. We did escort us. Uh, escort effort. Subs constitute a danger to our merchant convoys. Focus on developing a new destroyer model. We'll also wage anti-sub war warfare officially. Convoy tactics. Protecting our trade vessels, not just by our escorts and effective intelligence, but also tactical choice on how to range our trade routes and routines. Fund the Navy. Must be able to adapt to anything n new our enemies throw at us. Uh, increase funding. The uh, naval exercise increases a more efficient navy that can tactically outperform our enemies. Mexico wants to kill us, but well, airborne divisions. The development in the range and payload of planes has opened up a number of possibilities. Cargo plane could deliver full division troops far beyond enemy lines uh, where they could wreak havoc. Operations behind enemy lines and inhospitable territory will be part of any global conflict. Forming commander units to fill these roles is essential to our future warfare and support our Arctic island. Supporting our brave troops in any ways that we can is key to victory. Be that by laying down heavy artillery from a distance or more direct support on the battlefield, we must make sure that our troops have everything they need. But, I think we're going to end it there. I'm going to do a lot of this off screen, and then we'll be at peace eventually with the axis so we can just do all this stuff, which will be a lot more fun. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see, we're playing red. Actually, we're probably going to need that. After appearing to be on the path of respecting the people, our old oppressor now at odds with the winds of change we've accepted. The British Empire still wants two colors. We must let them know where we stand. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll keep hiring more mercenaries. 
and help invade mainland Europe and take them out and then maybe take out South America because anarcho-capitalism will never stop no matter what. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.